Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about Swedish match agrees to 16 billion takeover by Philip Morris. Oh, so Philip Morris is taking over a Swedish match company, not vice versa. Oh! <laughs> against partner ultra in the rapidly growing market for smoke free products what what is smoke free products then so philip morris international plans to re-enter the u.s market through 16 billion acquisition of swedish match oh the company name is swedish match abn challenge its partner ultra in the race to dominate smoke free tobacco products so some of the products that you guys are mentioning is patches tobacco chewing tobacco there's a chewing tobacco like gum. I heard the gum doesn't help. I heard if you chew, if you try the chewing tobacco, you'd rather want to, you want to smoke more with the chewing tobacco than not want to smoke. <laughs> so smokeless tobacco maker Swedish Match said Wednesday that it's for agreed to a 161 billion Swedish krona cash offer. Oh, which is 16 billion dollars from Philip Morris. <gasps> If you aspire to be truly global leader, you cannot ignore the largest market. In the U.S., there is room for a number of products for a number of players. Ooh, sounds fancy. So Philip Morris in 2008 was spun off from Ultra in a move that gave investors direct access to the faster-growing foreign cigarette market. Philip Morris now sells Malibro. Malibro, oh sorry. Since I don't know all these uh, tobacco names, oh my god. Philip Morris International is the non-U.S. company. What? That's so confusing. Ah, uh, so Philip Morris International is different from Philip Morris. Philip Morris U.S. U.S. is not the same as international. So do they like hate against each other? So they're actually because the U.S. is actually ultra. As smokers look for less harmful alternatives to cigarettes, both companies have sought new revenue sources by investing billions of dollars in the next generation product. Altria in 2018 paid 12.8 billion for a 35% stake in e-cigarette startup. Oh, Jewel! Ah, and then Philip Morris has been more aggressive in making pivot to alternate products aimed to generate more than 50% of net revenue from smoke-free products by 2025. Last year, its smoke-free portfolio led the company's IQOS devices that heat rather than burn tobacco account for about 29% of net revenue. So Marlboro International... I know, okay, so recently there has been the heating cigarette and that's been created by Marlboro International. So what's different from Jules, the e-cigarette? So wait, e-cigar is liquid, but you still burn tobacco? Is it liquid tobacco then for Jules? This one, you... What's the difference between heat and burn? <laughs> uh, so you don't burn the liquid here. You just... How do you... How does... How does Juul work, guys? So isn't Juul also heating up? So they have an internal battery and then some regulator chips. So liquid... Vaping is vaporizing liquid for inhale, inha inhalation. A heating element vaporized the liquid. Yeah. Then what's the difference between their method of heat rather than burnt tobacco? Is it the same thing? Ah, okay, so I understand. So this is heating up liquid that contains tobacco. Heated tobacco products are designed to heat tobacco without burning it or producing smoke. The popularity of these products soared in Japan after the release of electronic device called IQOS. So it must be what they're talking about. Who tried this, guys? Oh, Icos Club is also there. Oh, they have accessories. <laughs> so I guess this might be healthier than burning it. Still not safe according to FDA. So continuing. <laughs> In the U.S., Swedish match is largest market, followed by Scandinavia. The smokeless tobacco company Zing nicotine pouch brand. Pouch, right? A category that includes rival offering from Altria. Altria and British to American Tobacco. Philip Morris plans to use Swedish Match's U.S. sales force and manufacturing operations to make other smoke-free products, including e-cigarettes, 
and possibly IQOS heated tobacco device. So Altria currently has the exclusive right to sell IQOS in the US Philip Morris has been unhappy with Altria's slow rollout of the product and the two are at odds about whether Altria has met the milestone to renew its license and distribution contract beyond April 2024. Whoa, so this is the Swedish match store. So they sell in this round. Oh, so this must be... The safest cigar is like safe sex. <laughs> what the... <laughs> so... You put... You, get, you put this under your mouth? Inside your mouth, ah, uh, chewy tobacco, ah, uh, nicotine pouch. You just put it inside your mouth under here. This is nicotine pouch here, and the chewing tobacco is like gum. Uh. With the IQS, all Tria's reduced risk product portfolio would be limited to its on nicotine pouch and its minority stake in Jewel. Na 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 na. All Tria share was were down seven percent since Monday because they couldn't get it back under the Swedish match proposal, subject to shareholder approval. Investors in the Stockholm-based company will receive one hundred six Swedish krona, equivalent to ten point five five dollars in cash for each share held. So demand in the U.S. is growing for next-generation tobacco alternatives. Vaping product sale in U.S. stores tracked by no. Nelson increased 11% in the 52 weeks ended April 23rd, compared with the previous year. The U.S. vaping market is led by Jules Lab and Reynolds American INC, a subsidiary of BAT. Meanwhile, nicotine pouch losings are driving growth in the oral tobacco category, which includes traditional tri chewing tobacco and moist snuff. Moist snuff? So nicotine pouch contains nicotine and flavoring, but no tobacco. <laughs> So the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in 2019 uh, authorized Swedish Match to market its general snus smokeless tobacco products as presenting a lower risk of mouth cancer, heart disease, and lung cancer than cigarettes. The FDA also has authorized Philip Morris to tell consumers that switching from cigarettes to IQOS significantly reduces the body exposure to harmful, harmful chemicals. Well, I learned so much about tobacco in this one article. <laughs> I don't know if because of this, Philip Morris's recent stock price has increased to about 3% because they were doing a poor job during March, but then around like yesterday, this week, people started buying Philip Morris stock. So either they're really happy that Philip Morris International is coming to the US market. So after reading this, guys, a couple of questions come to my mind. So in the US, I think a lot of people are using what you said, 41% of people are using jewels. Because my question is, even if there's so many alternatives, like we have what was mentioned of chewing, pouchy, e-cigar, well, heating cigar. <laughs> Watch, I learned so much about cigarette, guys. I already know everything. How come people are still going back to smoking? Regular cigarette. Probably because of uh, the taste. If, even if all the alternatives have similar substance inside, you can't win against the taste of smoking cigarette. Social. I think it also has to do with like coolness. Like honestly, what would look cool, guys, if you have a cigarette in your mouth versus oh guys, let me let me get my pack of pack of uh, gum. Mom, meow, meow, meow. Know what I mean? Maybe not to some people, but among your smoking friend group, I think it won't look that cool. And I think the biggest reason why people like cigarette more is the fact that when you cigarette when you try to blow out it actually feels better than like chewing and spitting because <laughs> i would also rather like blow out smoke because it's like you're giving the action of sighing like oh right then being like <sighs> Hey. <laughs> right? So <clears throat> smokers are shunned. We have to smoke away from the non-smokers. 
Can't imagine being a smoker with current cigarette price. How much is the current cigarette price though? Is it like fifteen dollars? Fifteen, sixteen dollars in US. But it's very addicting, so they still probably won't mind the price anyways. Like it's like saying why are you buying so much for alcohol, right? You know, you're just addicted to it. So guys, what are some ways for Philip Morris to convince people to use other products? Well, I know you guys didn't hear about the IQ... Icos? Icos? Um, which isn't that popular in the US, but in Korea, it's like, not just uh, maybe making an assumption 90 people smoke this thing. <laughs> not gonna lie. Everyone has a, like a device uh, when you're smoking outside. <laughs> what I find that interesting is would Icos succeed if it's now being introduced in the US market versus Juul? Or do you think people would still prefer Juuls or regular cigarettes? So maybe not that many people might use Icos. I guess Koreans are good at following the trend, but I think it's really hard to do marketing in US. Because everyone and every country or every state is different compared to how it works in Korea. Anyways, going to end this smoke talk. I don't know if I'm going to upload it, but... Anyways, so... End of story. Smoking. I want to see the US reaction to Icos. Because, like I said, it is pretty popular in Korea. Because a couple of the feedback we're getting related to smoking or Icos is that they have a nice taste or they have taste similar to regular cigarette. However, as you guys all know, smoking is bad, so try not to smoke. But we will see if Philip Morris International acquiring Swedish Match will do any good for them. I know their stock prices right now has increased to 3% around approximately. So We'll see how they will do in the future and how they will go against their rival, Altria. So that's all I could think about this because I don't smoke. <laughs> Smoking is so hard content to talk about. <laughs>